All right, folks, where are we going to find today's product that we're unboxing? If you head over to Amazon, type in Be True U6, you'll see it right there. There's a dual tower that we're going to unbox, 120 millimeter ARGB. And, uh, you know, we will do an installation video, LGA 1200 most likely, or LGA 1151. But this is also good for AMD AM4. Price is $59.99. Sometimes you'll see a uh, coupon on here. Now you can also, while you're in here, check out the VTrue store. They've got all kinds of other products. Quite a few have ended up on this channel. They have a website, vtrue.com. And interesting, you'll find the same CPU cooler over here for $44.99. Now, This does not include shipping, folks, so what the cost to your house is may be more or less than Amazon. However, I would imagine if you decide you want to buy these in bulk, you could do a bulk order, contact uh, customer service. Maybe they will hook you up with a deal if you buy in bulk. I know I use a lot of CPU coolers, so I could probably have used quite a few more of these and I, I may honestly if I like it I might buy quite a few more for future CPUs so uh, let's get into the unboxing folks there YouTube right so we're gonna unbox this vtrue u6 pro CPU cooler this thing looks pretty impressive dual towers dual 120 millimeter fans and you know this might uh, I don't know if this will give Noctua a run for its money, but uh, we will definitely have some gaming videos in the future. We'll do an installation video in case you guys don't know how to install this. You can watch that video. All right, so here's the specs on this thing. You see the model number, once again, U6 Pro. Gives you dimensions, six-piece heat pipe. Like I said, two fans. Fan speed 700 to 1500, fan airflow 27.2 to 58.2 cubic feet per minute. Decibels anywhere from 18 to 30.5. Voltage is DC 12 volt, and this TDP is 220, so 220 watts. So we should be able to run some overclock CPUs with this guy, hopefully with no problem. All right, so I'm going to take all the stuff out of the box and lay it out in front and let you guys see what's inside. Here's what we have, folks, for, uh, let me see if I can turn a little bit more light on. Inside, you've got some thermal paste. I will, in my installation video, you know, I'm sure this is uh, fine stuff. I will use uh, Noctua. All right, back plate. This goes on the other side of the motherboard. Intel, AMD. All right. Read the directions to make sure you orient this correctly. And speaking of the directions, we have them right here. So you can see what is in here. And we will uh, we'll call these out uh, so you can see the bags. In an installation video, I will uh, take some photos of this and go through this step by step. We'll do uh, Intel, most likely... That might be LGA 1200. I think I'll put this on my, I'll use my uh, i9-10900F, all right, for this installation. So here's the uh, AMD side. So you'll notice there are separate pieces in here for uh, different installations, uh, whether it be AMD or Intel, and all the different AMD CPUs as well as Intel. So quite a few you saw on the side of the box. So we will have to, you know, when we're installing this, make sure we are using the right parts, right? So use these brackets with Intel. I will set this aside, 2011, and the AMD. We'll use this bracket. We'll have to use these, uh, What are these things called, folks? Uh, nuts. What do they call them? Nuts. <laughs> uh, so there's some standoffs in here. All right, we'll need those. We're going to need these screws. They'll come up through this plate through the motherboard. 
And then there are also some washers in here, okay? So that's basically the hardware that we're going to use, including thermal paste. Now let's go ahead and throw this back in a box, get it out of the way. All right, so the instructions in there. Now, when will I do this installation? That is a good question. We'll do it soon, hopefully. All right, here is the CPU cooler. Now, I've already removed the plastic off of the bottom of this. Uh, there's a little bit of residue on there, so you'll want to make sure you clean up the very bottom of your CPU cooler. Um, you want to have that nice and clean before it makes contact with the thermal paste that's on the CPU. So, this has arrived uh, with no damage, which is nice. All the heat fins look good. This honestly looks like a pretty good quality CPU cooler. All right. Now, we will have uh, RGB up here and in the fans. Um, I say fans, hopefully it's fans. It's at least one fan. Let's see how these connectors go. Yeah, there's some kind of splitter in here for power and for the RGB. So, three pin ARGB, all right? So you should be able to control this with the software that you get from your motherboard manufacturer, okay? You go to their site, uh, ASRock in particular will have it, Gigabyte, uh, there's quite a few different programs out there standard four pin that will connect to your motherboard all right so that's uh that's the wiring folks these are the six heat pipes all right usually you know the more of those um the more of those you have usually that means either a bigger tower or you've got multiple towers right and you can see obviously uh, this guy has multiple towers 120 millimeter fans as we discussed so this is uh going to be a pretty good cpu cooler if it's comparative to any of the ones that i bought from say be quiet or noctua uh, we do have you know one ginormous actually we've got two ginormous uh noctuas that are 140 millimeter which you know the tdp is a little better but uh you know this is probably all you need folks uh, for the price honestly i couldn't pass on this uh 50 i think it's 59 dollars 10 dollars off 49 dollars and i always need cpu coolers on this channel right obviously to make videos out of and i have computers all over the place so uh, this will upgrade, you know, one of the existing ones that we have. I'll remove one of the uh, lesser quality, maybe a single 120 millimeter fan with cooler or one of the, uh, hell, one of the standard Intel uh, CPU coolers that comes with a lock CPU. But All right, so other things these guys have are power supplies. See, 1600 watt there, a bunch of different cases. This is some of the other products that you don't see on Vtrue's website. They have this mining rig frame. I would love to get a hold of one of these guys. You can see, here's some of the specs. It'll hold eight GPUs. Of course, uh, it won't hold eight 3090s, but uh, it should hold eight 3060s, probably 20 RTX 2060s. Now, I haven't read through all this, but it looks like it probably has the CPU and the RAM included, I would imagine. And it shows the airflow here. But uh, this looks like a pretty good product for those of you that mine. I am uh, definitely tempted to get one of those for a channel. Now, here's something that yours truly has bought. Uh, mainly the PCIe extenders, but... This uh, this one is looking like a pretty good deal here. 15 bucks and you get all of these. 
I kind of wish they had one in black, to be honest with you, or white. I think if you go to their their main page, you'll see them. But uh, some other power supplies, as well as some other adapter cables, 8-pin to uh, dual 8-pin or 6 plus 2. Well, hey, thanks for checking out the video. Please like, please subscribe. Thank you.